Huge week for President Donald Trump. Listen, I'm man enough to admit when I we talked about this this week, when we were incorrect, I thought the risk with President Trump is that obviously he's bombastic to a lot of people. He's he, he's a, a polarizing figure for good and for bad. Um, and I thought, oh, that could hurt Republicans in the long run. It seems to me after these last couple of weeks, first off, the tax cut is wildly popular, which is very, very hard to do with any kind of an economic proposal, uh, let alone actually a piece of legislation. Then you have Iran, North Korea, and now, of course, the embassy in Jerusalem. I wanted to get your take on this. I, I had actually listened to your radio show uh, and you talked about how this was a good thing. Actually, I think you said it was imperative for the United States embassy to be in Jerusalem. But I was very confused because during the election, during the Brexit, uh, the media said that you were, of course, uh, racist, anti-Semitic, and uh, all of the above. So oh, clarify. Of course. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And, oh, come on, please. You know, I'm homophobic. I mean, add to the list. I mean, go on. Naturally. You know, you know, nobody had ever called me anti-Semitic until I attacked George Soros <laughs> and his unnecessary intervention in you know our, our world right across the West, but you attack Soros, they call you anti-Semitic. Right. Look, I tell you what's really important here. Trump stood before the American public and said, "I will do this, this, and this. I will break the Iran nuclear deal. It's not working. I will not just say, as the Bushes did and Clinton did and Obama did, that I'll move the embassy to Jerusalem. I will actually." do it. Right. And the really important thing about Trump is that what he is doing is he is genuinely restoring voters faith in a democratic process. He's delivering what he said he'd do. And all the others on both sides of the pond make promises to get votes without even having the intention right. of putting those things into practice. So I admire him hugely for it. And as far as Jerusalem's concerned, well, that line's now moved. Um, any future negotiations have to work on the basis that Jerusalem is the capital of Israel. Exactly. That's how it is. And if people don't like it, sorry, listen, we had elections. The guy delivered on his promise. This, this, it, by the way, he delivered, like you said, on Obama's promise. Uh -huh. So just consider and it. Clinton's promise. Just and considered promise. a belated promise delivery from yeah. President Obama. Let's give him that one. Uh, just like they're saying that, well, the, 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 tax, the tax break, they're going to hurt you 10 years down the line as it gets more popular. You might see some savings in your paycheck now, but 10 years down the line, let's just chalk this up for President Obama. 10 years down the line, Jerusalem embassy.